What is going on YouTube Universe? This is our God Zero, and today marks the beginning of our WWE 2K22 My Rise mode, which is the campaign mode, the season mode, the career mode, however you want to look at it. It is the main story mode of 2K22. And as you can see, I've already done myself the mischief of creating our superstar. He has featured on the last three or four WWE 2K series we have done. Drew Demoy is back. He is a technician this time around. He has the payback of resiliency. And this time around, we had the option to choose their background between MMA, pro athlete, actor, or indies wrestler and I thought a lot of the people I've seen play this so far have gone down the route of indies wrestler so I thought we'd do something different and we went with pro athlete and as you can see on the screen it says after making it to the highest levels of college and professional football your gridiron career ran its course and you're looking for a new challenge will your athleticism and years of training in one sport translate to another or will you discover that the challenge of becoming a WWE superstar is too much to tackle? We gain the attribute bonuses of 5% agility, 10% body durability, and 5% grapple offense. And the notable pro athlete superstars that are on the WWE roster is the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, King Corbin, and Oldberg. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen... I think I've wasted enough of your time running down how this is going to go down. Let's dive into the first episode of My Rise. There you he done is. With all that yet? Looking Just good. Finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Hmm, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Well, here we go. We got the HUD menu. We can go to options. I have played around with my moveset and my entrance to, to mix things up a little bit. Uh, we've got social media. Here we go. Social media will be a big part of your My Rise. Social media posts appear in your social media feed and direct messages appear in your DM inbox. We actually do have some DMs to check out too. Five new baby lambs on the farm from You Only Live Once. Hello, Liv. Let's check the DMs with Corey Klein. Looking forward to having you as part of the WWE family. I emailed over instructions for your first day of training at the PC. Don't be late for orientation. I'd leave some extra time for parking and checking in with security. Well, should have read that sooner because we were already late. We've got some attribute upgrades we can do. How many points do we have? Available points, 205. Go grappling eight. Uh, I think that's well rounded enough. Go with that. Spend points eighty five overall to kick things off. Don't mind if I do. And now social media still has some more. We've got the Paragon JP, Tazia Tastic, Triple H. Just had an all-brand meeting with the GMs from WWE, NXT, SmackDown, WWE, Raw. The WWE Universe is in for some exciting stuff. Doing our best to deliver the best in sports entertainment, boss. Well, you're always sucking up, personally. Never have time for it. Too busy managing WWE, Raw. Okay, Mandy Rose is the manager of Raw. Regal on NXT, and then obviously uh, Adam Pearce over on SmackDown. 
All right, heading to the floor, we've got Hector Flores and we've got Paragon J. Pierce. Let's talk to the Paragon. Let's see what he's all about. Hey, who are you? Well, you best be learning who I am. Who the fuck are you, mate? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce. The biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I haven't really? had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy playing football at the highest level in the world. So you're a football player, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into our sport think it's gonna be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever team you were cut from. Really? You keep running that mouth, I'm gonna have to shut it. You remind me of a lot of the guys I played against. All talk. Luckily for them, when the whistle blew, I couldn't punish them anymore. Last time I checked, there's no whistles here. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of wrestling rings, which you have very little experience in. You're on my field now, rookie. When I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging for a whistle. We'll see. Take that whistle and jam it up your ass, mate. He doesn't know I'm very well versed in the wrestling ring. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Don't call me new guy, mate. Don't call me new guy, or rookie, or any other condescending nickname. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a week. Okay, suit yourself. And you're right, I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico. Which is a lot longer than you. So what? Your dad or uncle were wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No. I got myself here. And I got myself here, Hector. I got myself to college and pro football, and now here. What's your point? Take a look around. You might feel at home in a weight room, but out there in the ring, it's a whole different world. You can either learn from people who have experience, or be stubborn and fall flat on your face. Not an option for me. That's not an option. I'm putting everything into this. There's no backup plan. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that. And I respect everything that WWE superstars do. Inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling. And I plan on being the next one to do it. I like your determination. Now let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. Now I'll put my ball in the end zone alright, don't you worry about that. It's gonna be the next biggest thing since the Tribal Chief. Throughout your my rise you'll see this square and arrow icon, this is the hub exit. Okay, which means we talk to this guy and then we're leaving the hub. That's fine, we can do that. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee? Are ah. you a referee here or... Oh no, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. I know I'm a bit on the smaller side, but I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Did we fight against Ruby in the last uh, 2K story mode? I can't remember. So your Lawler's charity case. So that explains it. Your Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. 
You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph your football card for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. Oh, -ho. I was just giving you a hard time. Oh, you wanna, you wanna talk tough? You wanna fucking say shit like that? I'm gonna fix him right up. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything I do to you in the ring. How about I give you one of those? Yeah. I'd prefer the card, but I guess that'd be cool too. Thanks. See you out there. He doesn't realize I'm about to rip him apart. Coach Sears, good luck on your first day of training. Keep your head down, give it 100% and trust the process. Just like what worked for you in football. Oh, hang on, decision branches. Important decisions crucial to your MyRise are marked with these two masks, green or red, heel or face. Each mask signifies the type of WWE superstar you want to be. Let me finish reading the text, please. Thanks, coach, but don't know if all of that worked for me in football, otherwise I might still be playing. Maybe it's time I do things differently. Fair enough, but whatever you do, just stay out of trouble. I'm going to earn everyone's respect. I don't care who I upset. Look, this is my thought process, okay? Every time we have played a WWE career mode, it has always forced us to go down the nice guy track. Whenever I get the chance or the option, I love to go the bad guy track track first i feel starting off as heel and then transitioning to a face is going to get us a bigger pop throughout the career mode so we're going to kick things off as a heel i've spent my entire life trying to follow the rules and stay out of trouble and it hasn't worked i'm going to make an impact here and i don't care who it upsets trample all them toes baby it don't bother me none even though the toes you trample now are connected to the feet of the asses that uh, you need to kiss later. If that makes sense. If asses even had feet. Oh, the Road Doggy Dog and Shawn Michaels. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! Shut what Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky? is always watching not that big man there's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to triple h's office in stamford the coaches and pc staff certainly have input but ultimately he'll decide when the time's right to bring the gms from nxt raw and smackdown here so you can showcase your talents <laughs> i'm ready for that now shut up paragon yeah, we know you think that but it's not your call big shot Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Paragon, easy. I want to beat his ass. Shawn Michaels. Oh! Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean. Oh, here we go. It's really not necessary. Look. If I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's go, Sean! Teach him why you're the showstopper. Sorry, I was a big fan. Old habit. I get it, Chase. 
I grew up a huge HBK fan myself. Shawn Michaels still to this day is one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. It's going to pain me to uh, beat his ass though. Come on, Sean. Let's see what you got, mate. Old dog versus new blood. Considering I'm currently in the ring against uh, one of my childhood wrestling heroes, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to sound off in the comments down below who your favourite wrestler growing up as a child was. I'm very curious. I really have to do, I really need to do my move set. I've only done my signature and my finishes, which means everything else is going to be pretty stock standard. But for the time being, considering we're in the performance center, I think that's okay. It's all about learning. Get wrecked, Sean. Come down with the elbow. Bring it, Sean. Come on now. As I said, the repeating of moves is ridiculous. Can I do springboards without needing to, uh... No. Okay. Oh, piss off. Since when does Sean do springboards? Never seen Sean Michaels do a springboard. Ow! Right in my kinikis. Pretty sure that said I had a, uh... Signature available. Did it not? Uh oh. Inzaguri, baby. But he took my signature. And I missed the chop block on the leg. Piss off, mate. Trying to go up top. Taking it to the outside with the elbow. Let's do it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a finisher locked away. Uh, Hector. Get out of my ring. Time to lock him away. Uh, are you kidding me? Excuse me. Time to lock him away. Time for the Des Moines device, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Count it, ref. One, two, three. Flawless fight. That is how you make a statement at the Performance Center on day one, baby. Alignment change. The decisions you made during the storyline have changed your alignment. We are a heel and... Uh, Low-key, I might have to change the difficulty from normal to hard because that was a little bit of a squash match against a, a Hall of Famer, mind you. So we're going to do that right now just so you guys can't call me out in future. We're going to go hard. And we're going to talk to Sean to see what is going down after that match. I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. Thank you, sir. I said I was going to make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. No doubt. It was a risk, and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, 
Those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Triple H is another one of my favorites that I grew up with. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this was one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. No doubt. Paragon J. Pierce. What the hell was that? Piece of shit. Ah! What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I'm just the guy that beat a Hall of Famer. I think I'm the top prospect now. No. Just because you caught an old-timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. Old-timer, he says. That title still belongs to me, and everyone here knows it. Oh, I can't wait to beat the shit out of this guy. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Okay, day two of the performance center. We've got Road Doggity Dog and we've got Shawn Michaels. Let's start with uh let's start with Sean. So, Road Dog and I were thinking, since apparently you want to stand out so much around here, that we should come up with some new ways to challenge you. What you have in mind? One of my favorites is what I'm calling show up or throw up. Basically, you have to do 500 squats and then wrestle chase without throwing up. Um, I'm going to pass on this for now just to see what Road Dog has to say. I know you must have put a lot of thought into that clever rhyming title, but I think I'm going to pass on this altogether. All right. Guess you're not as bold as we thought you were. Okay, Road Doggity Dog, D-O to the double G. Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things around here. So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. Why isn't doghouse with the, with the double G? Wouldn't it be the D-O-double G house? Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Damn straight. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Oh! Are you saying you want me in a match? Damn straight. You and me today, one on one. I'll beat another Hall of Famer. Two down in two days? I don't know what you think you're going to accomplish, but I'm going to beat another Hall of Famer. And if you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Too bad. I've got two words for you. Subscribe. Well, I know that's that's one word, but y you know what I mean. This is the storyline confirmation prompt to give you information on the storyline, including the potential rewards gained on completion. If you decide to confirm, you'll be locked into a storyline and can no longer explore different locations until you finish the storyline. Makes sense. We get one upgrade point. We get 1,092 fans. The Road Dog Challenge? Don't mind if I do. Dio to the double G, you're gonna you're gonna wish you didn't mess with uh, little old me. I'll tell you that. Ow! Excuse me. Piss off. Oh, I just realized uh, Road Dog starting with three finishes over here. Bit of bullshit. What's with the old timers trying to stretch my legs out on the fucking ropes? He was going for a finish. 
You going for a cheeky finish, boy? Let's go. Boof. Nope. That's two finishes down. Do you guys want to see my second finisher? There we go. Tribute to a man that should have never been let go by the company, Bray Wyatt. The sister Abigail, baby. Which we do need to rename. Okay, it's gonna be a squash even on hard div oh shit. He's off. Ow. Alright, let's do it. Time for the Demoy device. Oh! No, it's not. You can piss right off. Ow. Oh. You're not going to get more than that, mate. Oh. The road dog, Jesse, get James putting a flurry on. Oh, yeah, peace off. Uh-oh. You're, you're nimble for an old man. Get up. Here we go. Now it's time for the device, baby. Des Moines device locked and loaded. Oof! Count it, ref. One, two. Oh, you are kidding. That's fine. I can hit. I can hit a second one. I was hoping I'd get the option for a dirty pin there. One, two, three. Thank you. Jay's a little bit more resilient. Not much fight back though. Story complete. Road Dog Challenge. We got one upgrade point and we got 1,092 fans. Ladies and gentlemen, if there was ever a time to end the episode, I think right now is the perfect time. We took down Shawn Michaels in our first ever Performance Center match. Road Dog comes out with the challenge and gets beaten as well. Two Hall of Famers down in two days in the very first episode. If that is not a great way to kick things off, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what is. I am so hyped to finally be diving into this experience with you all. I hope you guys at home are keen to follow this journey with me. If you are, and you haven't already, make sure you have hit that subscribe button down below. If you're keen for more WWE action, I have kickstarted the My GM mode with my brother. Brand vs. Brand, Smackdown vs. Raw. Link in the description down below. You will find the playlist with the first two episodes. Go and check it out. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.